Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another day in the life. I definitely just need to start vlogging a lot more. Right now I'm at a place where I think it would be very, very interesting just to pick up the camera on whatever days and just start documenting my journey in finding myself, finding my identity in developer advocacy or being a developer advocate. I teased this a little bit on my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter, but there's been somewhat of a problem that I've been dealing with. It's kind of been debilitating to say the least. I've been handling it and trying to manage it even when I was at Plaid and it's still somewhat of an issue, but I think I've got a handle on it. But anyways, today I think is gonna be a great opportunity for me to talk about that. I'm just gonna bring you on the day. We have a lot of stuff to do, but right now I gotta head over to the dentist. Just a small appointment over there, so let's get over that appointment first and then we'll get into the day. We've got some videos to make and things like that, so let's get moving. <laughs> All right, so back from the dentist, eventful, cleaned, need to go back, unfortunately. I haven't been to the dentist since COVID, so I had to get that out of the way, but today is going to be jam-packed with content creation for work. If you are at all curious or don't know what it is exactly I do as a developer advocate, I have made a separate day in the life video on that, going over some of the different tasks that I have. So if you want to go check that out, it'll be posted up here somewhere in the cards. But anyways, today I'm going to be working on two videos that I have that should be coming out this week. I have been reviewing them from our editor. Shouts out to Alan, who's also editing this video. So shouts out to you, brother. You're doing an amazing job. But so I'm reviewing those, making sure everything looks good. If there are some things that need to change, I send him some notes with a couple things that I want done on the video. And then once those drafts are done, then we move into the next stages of putting up videos, which is going to be creating thumbnails, figuring out when they're gonna go out in terms of timing, title, all the other little small stuff that usual YouTube goes into, as well as planning out the rest of my week. This week is a little bit busy for me, just a lot going on. Chris Sean's out at a conference at Snowflake Summit. At the time of this recording, I'm sure by the time this video goes up, he's gonna be home and just chilling or whatever. But so far, the only person right now creating content is me in terms of video content. So let's go into reviewing some of those now. Just gonna go into a time lapse of me reviewing some of those videos and then working on the title, thumbnail, things like that. So that our typical workflow is the same as any other YouTube creators, it just takes a little bit more time and we're pushing out content pretty frequently. So you have to really, really be on it. So with some of that work out of the way, that brings me to the topic of what this video is primarily about. Like I said, I see something on Twitter that I've been dealing with a lot of since even when I was back at Plaid. Like it, it has been a debilitating thing that I as an individual, and I'm sure many of you have also dealt with, it is trying to find like a good balance and a good way of countering procrastination and actually getting some good work done. That doesn't mean that you don't get work done, but it takes a lot longer than you usually want it to take. I can go back to when I was still at Plaid and I would feel this sort of resistance whenever it came time to actually getting some work done. I don't know why I felt it. I knew I had to get some work done, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't push myself to actually go and do what it is I had to do. And so now moving into Airbyte and doing more developer advocacy work, I still find that I'm doing the same thing. I genuinely thought that after moving into my own apartment and having my own space, for creativity to flow and my own room to really just do YouTube and Twitch and all this stuff, I thought I would be more inclined to actually get more work done all the time. But now that I'm here and I've spent since March, so a couple months, all through that time, I really haven't solved it until now. I still felt that resistance, that same urge to not do the work and to put that off until tomorrow or something like that. And so it wasn't until earlier this month that I really, really sat down with myself and tried to figure out a system or a way 
to really address the procrastination that I had that just kept building up inside of me. And I wanna share it with you guys so that maybe this can help someone out there that is also dealing with something similar because it's not a great feeling. Especially when you first join a company, you wanna be as impactful as you can. You wanna really get to know the product. You wanna really get to know the people and do some great work. But it sucks when you get that feeling of like, okay, I know I need to get this done, but um, it, it, there's a lot of pushback and not externally, but internally within ourselves of like really just not wanting to do the work for some reason, even though you know you need to do it. And so one of the things that I've really started to do that I found very, very helpful was writing those tasks down in my notes app. It's something so simple that a lot of people do on a regular basis, but this is something that I genuinely haven't done in a long time. So I started going on my notes app, putting down tasks that I needed to do during the day. I didn't put a hard expectation of like, oh, okay, you need to finish these today. But I know some of the top priority tasks that I need to do, I need to get these done today. Writing them down has genuinely helped me really prioritize and sit down and tell myself, okay, I know I need to get these done. No matter how much resistance I feel, no matter how much I want to put this off, I know I need to get this done today because otherwise tomorrow may not be guaranteed for me. That's kind of the mindset I've been telling myself and I also tweeted this recently as well. I'm treating today as if I will be laid off tomorrow. That's always a scary feeling. I've been laid off before. For those that have been laid off, it's not a great feeling knowing that you involuntarily have to leave this company and stop work altogether and go back into the interview stages at other companies. It's not a great feeling. I, I don't wish that upon anyone. I hope you don't ever have to go through that, but unfortunately it's how the world and the market works and sometimes we do have to go through that. But with that being said, I wanna do everything in my power to make sure I don't have to go through that. So with that mindset up here every single day, I now treat every single day as if it's my last, not that it's my last on this earth, but the last that I will spend at this company doing, doing work that I genuinely love to do. So far I have writing down tasks, I have that mindset, and the next thing I do is actually block out time on my calendar to make sure that I actually don't have any meetings going on and I can have genuine focus work doing whatever it is I need to do. It's so simple, literally, I just go in my calendar, write down whatever task it is that I'm going to do for this allotted time and make sure that no one else blocks meetings for this time. So whether that be streaming on Twitch, because that is something that I do here as a developer advocate, is I do spend at least two hours of my day streaming on Twitch. That's not every day, but I try to make sure that some days through the week that I'm streaming at least two hours. So that requires no meetings to be blocked and that requires me to be on a consistent schedule so that my viewers and anyone really in the EU are able to attend the streams. That also has to do with video reviews, drafting blog posts, for myself, actually recording a YouTube video, whatever it is that I need to get done, I need that allotted time. That does two things. Again, like I've said, if someone's trying to meet with me, they see that, okay, he's blocked this time out, can't block a meeting in this time. And two, it really sets a precedence for me in my mind of like, okay, I've set myself this amount of time. I need to be focused for two hours, three hours of just working on this blog post or working on this YouTube video. It really puts me in high gear. It's something again, so simple, but it works. Like it really, really drives me to focus in on the task at hand. I've been doing this for about two weeks now and I really felt a difference. I need to keep on doing it. It's a matter of building a habit. Once this habit is instilled with me, I just will instinctively move into and gravitate towards blocking time out, writing the tasks that I have for each day. If I don't finish it, I move it on to the next day and just always being in that focus mode. That's it. So far, it has really accelerated the amount of productivity that I have on certain things. It's allowed me to bust more content out. It's allowed me to be a little bit more organized and it's allowed me overall to feel less anxiety and less stress throughout the work week. Because the last thing I wanna do is be so stressed out about like, I, I have this video that I need to work on, but like it's Tuesday, like this video needs to go out Thursday. I only have a couple days. Like it doesn't let me stress out about it because I have a lot of time on Monday to put all my focus in on this video, which gives me Tuesday, Wednesday 
to really, really focus in on all the other tasks that have to go into that because creating YouTube videos, as some of us know, does take up a lot of time and a lot of mental power to really just put all your focus in and get this video done. Not to mention time to brainstorm titles, time to create thumbnails. Those are some of the things that we don't even think about that take up a lot of our time. And so time is the biggest factor as a creator or really anyone in general, right? If you can efficiently use your time, you can get so much more done in less time than if you don't schedule anything at all and kind of you take up more time doing something that could have been done in one to two hours. So that's just something I wanted to talk about today. That's been the main focus is productivity and procrastination. The two Ps that I really, really have had a struggle with throughout life in tech, really. It's funny that I didn't really get this when I was unemployed doing YouTube full time, but now that I'm doing a full time job in tech, as a developer advocate, I started to really see this come up as an issue. And so I really needed to address it. And hopefully some of those things can help you tackle some of the tasks you guys have at your work effectively and efficiently. But anyways, time to get back to work. All right, so some of the tasks have finally been done on the YouTube side of things. It's time to take a break. I usually like to go on runs and things like that. We're gonna be running on the treadmill in here though at the apartment complex. So. Time to do a workout. It's going to be quite a long one. I think I'm going to split it up and do three miles, do some workout, go back to doing three miles or something like that. So let's just get to the run. Okay, so just ran, did a little bit of a workout. I like to do that just to like get away from work and just get into my mind a little bit and clear up. Done with that, I'm gonna hop onto a quick meeting that starts here in about six-ish minutes. After that, then it's gonna be deep focus on these thumbnails, on brainstorming this title, and then it's relaxing for the rest of the night. I'm gonna go down to the supermarket or the grocery store, whatever you guys call it, and get some dinner to make for tonight since I don't really have anything. But after that, we're gonna end the vlog there. But hopefully so far, if you've made it this far, that this video has been somewhat insightful for you because I think just from now on, I'm, I, I would love to share my learnings, document my journey as a developer advocate as I've done prior when I was still trying to find a job in tech. I think it's helpful for those of you that are also on a similar path or are looking to get into developer advocacy and or just a tech job in general. It's always nice to have a partner or someone you can ask questions to alongside and it just makes you feel like you're not alone. And I wish I had that when I was coming into the scene and I just wanna be able to provide that for you all now. So hopefully it's been insightful, but anyways, let's get into the meeting. Oh, okay, so. Just finished that meeting and I went to go get the mail. I usually don't do anything like this, but I got some new clothes. I've actually been loving it. I'm actually wearing something of it right now. This is not sponsored by any means. I just really love the product. So let's unbox this or open this. It's not really a box, just something fun, you know? Never before seen. Make sure I don't dox myself. But uh, shouts out to Cuts Clothing. They make some really dope shirts. I bought so many of these shirts, it makes zero sense. We're in a recession and my dumbass is buying so much clothes. So yeah, shouts out to Cuts. You should sponsor your boy. Everyone in the comments, go spam Cuts right now. I don't care if it's on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Get them to sponsor your boy. Cause look, I'm wearing the shirts. I'm wearing the hats, dude. I'm pretty much an influencer for Cuts already. Let's take a look. So I, I've been ordering, for those interested, I've been ordering their Curve Hem Pima Pro, Pika Pro? I think this is Pika Pro. Shirts, they're their split hem ones. And man, these things, things are really nice. So this is the Heather Gray. And then I'm trying this one. This is a new one for me. I haven't actually gotten this one yet. Um, this is the Pima Cotton. The Pima Cotton shirt. So it's a different material, I believe. I just wanted to see what it felt like and what it looked like. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It's still really soft. I think uh, it's still got the nice split hem. Ooh, it's white here too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, this is nice. I think I still like the way that the Pika Pro ones look. I feel like one of those haul try-on videos right now, but uh, yeah. So shouts out to Cuts, sponsor your boy. Anyways, so what we're gonna do right now 
not try on clothes. What we're gonna do is I'm going to focus in on some of the YouTube stuff that I've got to do. Like I mentioned, I have some thumbnails to make and I have some titles to, to create. And as I mentioned before, we're trying to make them as clickbaity as possible. You know what I'm saying? So we got to do some work there. It takes a lot of time and I don't have Chris Sean to run titles by right now. So we might actually, let's try to FaceTime him right now. Hold on. Here we go. Yo. Where are you? Oh, I'm back at my house. Why are you home right now? I miss my dogs. This guy, you're on the vlog right now. Oh, sh <laughs> What's up? <laughs> He's supposed to be working. I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the strip to have dinner with her. He's supposed to be working right now. What is he doing? He's in a blanket on a couch <laughs> Bro, at his house. My feet are so tired. Oh my gosh. This is my coworker. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Who talks to a camera, you loser? Okay. <laughs> I called you because I said on the vlog that I don't have you to run titles by because I'm creating two titles and I need them to be clickbaity. You need them to be good. Yeah, I know. That's why I use so I have the connectors. The big one right now is the video with Abby, and I need that one to be clickbaity, but I don't know how because it's kind of going over technical content. Damn, bro, your knuckles are ashy. What the f Oh, bro, it's because, um... You're gonna a fight? I know it's Vegas, but... Bro, bro, like, seriously, like, like, seriously, like... Look, my cell phone fits in that perfectly. <laughs> what happened? Remember the Warriors game? I was so frustrated. But now we're gonna win the finals, homie. <laughs> Listen, that's so dumb. But yeah. yeah, copy and paste the sentence. Wait, which one was it? Oh, shoot. No, the very first one. Yeah, there you go. My results. I like that. That's better. Yeah. All right, let's do the same and, thing. And, and then your face like... <laughs> okay, stop. No, Alan, do not use that. Alan, use it. We're, you know what? For my thumbnail, I'm going to take you doing that. Oh, my God. And then people are going to be like, people are going to be like, what the hell, dude? Why is Krishan on this? And it's just, it's chow codes on the video. Can you do the connector one? Alright, Python CDK connector overview, everything you need to know. Oh, that's a good one! Oh my god, Python CDK. OMG! <laughs> See? Now you just got to make a really good thumbnail. That's gonna be the hard part. That's the hard part. I'm gonna go back to vlogging and doing this stuff. Yo, YouTube, stop subscribing to my channel, youtube.com slash do not subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> There's no free advertisement on this. No. Come on, Alan. <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, I'll see you later. All right, see ya. There goes the title brainstorm. We've got the titles. Just got to do the uh, the thumbnails now. So that's what happens when you collaborate with your friends and your coworkers or your peers or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to go do the thumbnails now, but that was fun. So let's get to creating thumbnails. Fun stuff. Okay, I just had an epiphany. I had a moment. I had clarity. I just gotta put this out there. So I'm going through Mr. Beast's YouTube channel right now. And as most of you guys know, Mr. Beast is very clickbaity. He's very, very good with thumbnails. And so I went on there to get some inspiration. And I think I finally got it. So I'm gonna come up with the most cringiest thumbnail you could probably think of for one of the videos, which is speed running a free code camp Python course. That's the title of the video. And so I thought, why not make a thumbnail of me on a computer looking like I'm, I'm about to like, I'm like sweating, you know, I'm dying of sweat, just like typing so fast. And there's like a timer going on and there's Python, the Python symbol, the free code camp symbol somewhere signifying that I'm speed running this thing. So I think I'm gonna set up a, set up a little like shot here of me me doing just that. I am nixing the idea of me going out to go get food because this is gonna take a little bit. So what I did was I ordered uh, some Indian food for pickup. I'm gonna go pick that up and then come back, set up, e eat a little bit, set up the whole set, I guess, to, to, to actually take the photos and then create the thumbnail. I have the idea. I think I just had to get it down somewhere. I wasn't gonna write it down. I had to say it out loud. I don't know if you guys can tell how excited I am for this to actually happen because 
Airbyte really hasn't had any like super crazy clickbaity thumbnails yet. Like we've had text and we've had professional looking ones. But we haven't had anything like this and I, I want to start that trend. So let's go pick up the food. It's ready to go be picked up and uh, let's let's create the set here. Aren't you a little cute thing? Aren't you a little cute thing? Package secure. All right, so we got some naan, two chicken wraps, and then a chicken kebab thing. I, I don't know the exact name. I'm about to smash all of it and then get into the work. So let's do that. I'm watching some Sam the Cooking Guy because you know, you can't ever go wrong with Sam the Cooking Guy. So let's get after it. Let's go. Just finished eating and let me show you guys what I have set up here because I have the shot in my head. I'm trying to explain how this is gonna look. So let me show you. Okay, so this is what I have right now. So key light, my Sony a7 III is on a slider right now, but I just needed to take the photo. My phone here for monitoring, and so I can actually take the shot, and then the laptop as the prop. So what this is effectively going to be is I'm going to be looking like I'm on my laptop, like really, really typing really hard. That can kind of go in different ways, but you know what I mean. I, I'm gonna be typing like really, furiously and looking like I'm in a race. That's kind of the look I'm going for. And in the background, I think is going to be free code camp in Python. I think that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm not entirely sure, but I know this is the main photo that I'm going to take and then I'm gonna remove the background and then do something crazy with it. And then with for the other one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a shot where I'm kind of like this. Like I just like found something out and it made sense. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for these thumbnails. I just want the main photo so that way I can take the background out and actually play around with them. So I'm gonna take a couple shots here and see how they go. Okay, so now that I have taken the photos, you'll see them in a second. If you go follow the Airbyte YouTube channel, then you will get to see the thumbnail fully done. But I am now importing them into Lightroom and we'll be editing them. So just some slight edits to the raw photos, exporting them out of Lightroom, and then I put them into Canva to then remove the background and put whatever other elements that I want to for this thumbnail. Now, we gotta remember that this is for Airbyte, so we're gonna add potentially some Airbyte pizzazz, I guess you could say to it, but I'm not too sure. But anyways, that is what I'm doing right now. So let's cut to some B-roll of me putting that together. Let's go. This right here is so cringe, but I love it. All right, y'all. This is where I'm going to end the video. So thank you all for watching and joining me on a day where I kind of work on content and as well as talk about some other things with procrastination and productivity. I hope you all enjoyed this. But anyways, make sure you guys are subscribed, like the video and hit the bell just in case you miss notifications for new videos that are coming out. Like I said, that's gonna do it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.